How's it going, Thunderbirds? It is week five, and we've got to go on the road down to SoCal to face off against the Chargers. Obviously, we have all of our pregame stuff to get through first, though, and this is always important. Uh, we've got a breakout player message. Who is it that we're going to get a deal with? Uh, John LeBlanc going to have a chance here to upgrade his dev trait early in his rookie season. We need three touchdowns or 150 yards rushing. I feel like... Uh, the 150 yards shouldn't be too difficult. We are still negotiating with Gary and Conley, and he likes the salary and length, but the bonus could be better, and, you know, bonuses are relatively cheap for us, so we'll give him a little boost to that and see if we can sign the 82 overall corner back to the team, and there we go. Got it done. Our other two players that we are negotiating this week will be Jonathan Hankins, and Markel Lee, um, I'm kind of on the fence about both of them. We'll probably try to grab Jonathan again, although he is 28 years old, and I'm not huge on that, but he is a star dev trait DT, and we could probably get him pretty cheap. And Markel, uh, he's young, but he's not the greatest, so again, if we can get him relatively cheap, maybe not on the longest contract, I'd go for that. Jonathan Hankins, we're only going to offer a one-year deal with. We'll see if he takes that, and... Perfect. We, we actually we were able to go down from what it defaulted us at, so that's a decent re-signing. And with Markel, we're going to only offer him a three-year contract. They, he wanted four. Um, he wants a better bonus in duration. We are going to think about that and maybe pick the guy up. After re-signing, comes doing a little bit of scouting, and um, I think we're just going to go through and start looking at a few of these uh, first round guys and see if we can find any great talents. Daniel Ferguson will end up being a first round guy at the left end mid first rounder. That could be good for us. And currently we're sitting with two first round picks. So we might be able to find a little bit of nice talent. Although we don't necessarily need it. Devin Jeffrey out of Notre Dame seems like he could be a solid back. Um, he's only 21 as well. And an elusive back, decent carrying, decent juke and spin, and the projected early first-round talent. Coming out of Ohio State is one of the craziest last names I've ever seen in Marvin, what, Siegskowski? Uh, mid mid first-round talent. Uh, I'd be curious to see where he goes. Only six foot two, um, and I don't know how how I feel about scrambling quarterbacks in this game. Jaquan Clark out of UCF, the speed rusher, is a guy that I'll have my eyes on. Another early first-round talent, pretty young, and I don't know, A- minus finesse moves, good tackle, good pursuit. That could be another one that I'm interested in. Over on the left-hand side of the screen, of course, is our needs, and I think, you know, we could use a better right end, but just looking at the difference between offense and defense, we probably need to find ourselves a good offensive line this year and maybe here to help us out is going to be uh Stuart mcnally early first round talent out of penn state and an agile right guard uh he's definitely going to be one that we're looking at and continuing with these personnel matters lamarcus joiner we have some offers for him 29 year old uh free safety and no, still just kind of garbage. A third rounder and a sixth rounder uh, next year. And then a third rounder this year and a sixth rounder next year. Um, it's just not worth it. After training, we get a couple of upgrades. The center, Spencer Whitlock. We're just going to go ahead and give him that pass protector. And then for the other two guys, it's really not going to matter a whole lot. I mean, it's a backup center that's not great in Jacob Parker and Nathan Peterman, who actually... We probably do need to try to make him good because uh, we seem to get injured quite a bit. With all that done, we can head to Dignity Health Sports Park to take on the one and three Chargers. Now our record is a lot better than theirs, uh, but they earn 83 overall compared to our 77. So this won't be the easiest, but I feel relatively confident. Well, we are in Los Angeles. Thankfully, a pretty easy trip for the team this week. Uh, just having to go down the state a little bit. And I don't know. I'm just hoping that we can come out and continue to get some interceptions maybe and really focus on getting John LeBlanc that 150 yards to get that depth trait upgraded early into his rookie year and hopefully see him 
really start to take off and become a star. The kick is off. And the game is underway, and so our defense is going to get to come out on the field first if we can get a stop here, and uh, let's see what they can do. We're going to hope that Danny Trevathan can just be on his best today, as that's a great stop from Hurst. Uh, not allowing anything up the middle. On second down, they're going to go to the air, and I just barely got beat there. I thought I had a chance to break to it, but I wasn't quick enough. And Rivers did a pretty solid job that time. I have a feeling this is going to go to Gordon. It is a toss play, and Trevathan's there. Nice job. Second 11, we haven't really allowed anything in the running game. This looks to be a draw. Trevathan can't get there, and this should be third and inches. And it is indeed third and one, so we'll expect this to be a run up the middle. You would expect them to give it to their man, and that's a nice, nice stop. Fourth down, and we should be getting the ball here. The bad field position is going to let Huntley come in and have good field position to start the drive, but LeBlanc couldn't get anything there. LeBlanc on second and nine. Doesn't really have much there either. Unfortunately, it means we have to go to the air here on third and six. And coming across the middle, wow. We might have been able to get that one off, but even double teamed Joey Bosa just came in and got a super clutch sack. Trevathan and company came out and had a really solid first drive. We'll see if we can stop the run. Gordon gets kind of into that secondary and gets to midfield on, on one play there. Going to expect them to continue to run quite a bit here as they're just going to throw that one away. Rivers couldn't find anybody. Kind of expecting a run here on second and 10. And, oh, for a second I thought it might have been a play action, but wow, Gordon just trucking through and picking up more yards. First and 10 now. Another handoff, and Trevathan's there to stuff the, the gap that time. No, that is one that, I, again, I was expecting to see a pass there. We do get Trevathan again for another tackle, but I need to see some stops uh, through the air, maybe. If they're just going to run it all game, we might be in trouble. Uh, okay, Dunbar, easy close out, and we'll hold him to a field goal here. It's a 46-yard attempt. And whoo, it looked like he was going to push it for a second, but it curls back in. And the Chargers take a 3-0 lead. I don't have high hopes for this one, but we're going to try to give it to LeBlanc towards the edge. He actually picks up a couple of blocks, and LeBlanc, he needs those yards. And that's a huge amount of them. Oh my goodness, he's up to 35 just because of that one run. It's exactly the kind of play that we needed. And you know what? Let's go back to him. Give it to the uh, the running back for a short little dump off. Five yards there. LeBlanc only needed that 150 to be uh, rushing or passing yards. So it doesn't matter how we get him the ball just so long as we do. And we're going to be heading into the second quarter with a third and four, maybe in field goal range. It's important to me that we play well. And we're going to go with an RPO and find Ty Williams there for uh, a first down. And Brett Huntley starting to a two. Been trying to work the RPO into my game. And here, LeBlanc with another good carry. Gets uh, first and goal for us. And now he's up to 55 on the ground. So that was about 20 more. First and goal for the five. Jacobs has come in. We'll go with the handoff. And he can't quite get there. In fact, he lost a yard. We get LeBlanc to come back in. And we're going to go back to the pitch and hope that we can get blocking. Maybe his first touchdown. He's not going to have the speed. And he's going to lose a yard as well. So third and goal. We'll see what we can do. They're bringing a lot of pressure. We're just going to throw it up. And oh, the diving catch is incomplete. I thought Wilson had a good chance to grab that one. As we kick into this eight mile an hour winds, we'll just try and tie the game up. And I thought we had a touchdown for a second. A quick turnover for the defense would be huge. And they're going to actually just dump it off for a little check down. That, eh, not great for us. I'm expecting a run here on second and eight. And no, they're going to drop back to pass. And LaMarcus gets there in time to prevent the first down, but it'll still be third and short. And on third and two, I'd be foolish to expect this to be anything other than a run. We fill the gaps, although there's a broken tackle. And we might not catch Melvin Gordon here. Wow. 
Should have been an easy stop and a quick three and out. Instead, the Chargers are going to take a 10-0 lead. I guess the positive on that is that we get to uh, get our offense back on the field a little bit earlier. And I'm actually going to run Huntley here and slide down for a, a quick gain there. It's not often I'm able to scramble well in this game, but we did a good job there. And Hunt or uh, LeBlanc now picks up the first down. I got to be a little bit wary of the clock. We are inside of three and a half minutes to go, so I can't be too cavalier. But LeBlanc, what a great run there. One man to beat, and that would have been six. Puts us almost into field goal range pretty early. And Huntley, we just got to dump it off and hope LeBlanc can get something. I had nothing there that I felt comfortable throwing. Two and a half minutes in the half now. We'll try to go to the air. I feel the pressure coming from Bosa off the edge, and I got rid of it, but Hundley was just a little bit too inaccurate, so we'll take what we can get. We'll see if we can run it here on third and eight, and no, Jacob's unable to get it done. The two-minute warning comes, and as much as I would hate to uh, start falling behind, we got to try the field goal here. That's into a big wind. Not enough leg. Oh, that's frustrating. So we got to hope that the defense can come out and maybe find a quick stop as we could be in trouble and that's just me getting beat. Melvin Gordon has his X factor as I was way too slow to react to that one and oh my gosh, I'm missing every single tackle right now. The only thing I have on my side right now is the clock with a minute to go in the second. They do have all three timeouts, but... I gotta hope that we can find something and not just screw up like that. Goodness. They are inside the red zone now and looking like they could put up another touchdown. Is Oh, that was that's embarrassing. That should have been the easiest stop in the world for me. Henry is just destroying us through the air right now. He's caught five or six passes and now he's added a touchdown. Because we're going to fall uh, way too much. Way too much. 52 seconds in all our timeouts. We're going to have to hope as... Oh, I just forced that. Maybe a... Okay, Nelson came down with it. <laughs> I tried to throw that to LeBlanc. I was going to say that we needed a little bit of luck. Uh, and we seem to get some of it. We might have a man open here. This could be a pick. Nelson can't come up with it incomplete. Need to get a little bit lucky here again as we're going to go for Verts. And again, I'm throwing one up. Renfro can't come down with it. That was that was very risky. 36 seconds, two timeouts here. And, uh, dude, Hundley is so inaccurate. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm the greatest punter of all time, but I'm fairly certain I could have been a little bit more accurate than that. And they're going to block the punt. Townsend does pick it up, so he recovers his own, but uh, th this game is not going well for us right now. That is the first blocked punt I've ever seen in this game. And of course, it's come in this position. And these guys are in a great spot to put more points on the board. Is there's another flag? Could this be a holding? Thank goodness. We're going to hope to maybe force a turnover. 21 seconds. At least knock them out of uh, field goal range. Or we can just give up uh, an easy little dot to the five. Things aren't working all that well for us here. This should be a pick. Oh, you he threw it into triple coverage and we couldn't come down with it. It hurts my feelings that we couldn't figure out how to get the stop. And again, I'm just getting beat. And we are down 21 in the first half. With nothing good happening for us in this half, we're just going to hand it off to LeBlanc a couple times. If he gets a good chunk of yardage, that's fantastic. We'll actually take a time out here and let him run it one more time. At the very least, we can help uh, work towards that dev trade, assuming we can pick up a couple blocks here or we can just lose a yard. <laughs> so we will head into the locker rooms here at halftime, down 24 to 3. We have 27 passing yards and uh, just things aren't going well for us. Thankfully, we do start this half with the ball. Uh, and we'll bring this out. I don't think we're going to get a, necessarily a great return, but we could get something out of it. Nelson... Yeah, I'm just running into my guys all the time on those. Well, we're going to open this one up with a run and just hope that we get the right blocking. LeBlanc, oh, he snuck through there and got a first down, but this has to be a holding. 
That's a shame. I need LeBlanc to get these yards. We need this depth trait. If we're going to hope that he turns into something useful. And so, well, it doesn't help when we're losing yards with him consistently. We'll try the read option and hand it off to him. And oh, my goodness. Third and a mile. I'm not seeing a whole lot. We're going to try to force one in there. Renfro comes down with it. But it really doesn't help us all that much. Fourth and six. I got to expect some running here soon. Um, and, well, if they want to throw those dump offs, we might be able to get in front of one of them. They're going to the air again. And, I, dude, I just don't understand how they're holding on to all these passes. Rivers has two incompletions on the day. He's looked so impressive. They hand it off to the fullback, and thankfully, we get the stop, so the defense does hold. LeBlanc, still a little bit injured. We're still going to run with him. And he's making guys miss again. User juke works. And there we go. Quick first down, 107. We just need 43 more for that uh, depth trade upgrade. We'll try the counter on this first down, and this is a drive that almost has to get to the end zone if we can't manage to find the end zone on this drive it might be it for our our game smith oh goodness thank goodness he held on to that one but he got popped and supposedly on that uh catch we lost a yard so i'm a little bit concerned for the ref's eyesight after that spot but leblanc's able to pick it up on the dive it's pitch time as we are approaching midfield and we actually pick up kind of a block downfield. I'm just going to let LeBlanc run out of bounds so he doesn't get obliterated. We'll see if we can find anything here. As that should be a safe throw to Renfro. And we just got to make sure we're getting our completed passes. It's pretty devastating to, uh, you know, have throws that are relatively accurate and have drops. So when the opportunity arises, we need to make sure that we're getting receptions. LeBlanc, another good carry, getting very close to the 150-yard mark. Again, desperately need a touchdown on this drive. There's a man open. It's Wilson. And he's got us another first and goal. We screwed this up last time, though. As we are getting dangerously close to the fourth quarter, we'll put it on the ground here. And I might have to be hitting the hurry up real soon. LeBlanc into the end zone for a touchdown. With just over eight minutes of playing time left in the game, we need to see the defense get a quick and early stop. And oh my goodness, nope. oh my goodness, that's not going to get it done. One play touchdown for the Chargers, as we literally can just not stop their passing attack, which makes no sense to me. This feels an awful lot like one of those games that we are just destined to lose. Um, doesn't really feel like anything that we're trying is going to work. We'll head into the fourth quarter here getting shellacked if we didn't give up 21 points in the second quarter maybe we would have a chance but beyond that we are uh, out of luck right now you'll have to excuse me if we start to break out a couple of cheese strats and i don't know maybe go with some slants the rest of this game is going to be a lot of hurry up and hoping that maybe we can just get a little bit lucky but I'm not so sure that we're going to be able to find what we're looking for in this one. Especially not with Huntley at the uh, at the helm. There's a, a dump off to Smith and he can't get the first down. So third and short. That's a terrible throw on third down. Somehow Nelson comes down with it though. Yeah. And of course, wow. Should have known. Should have known that nothing good could happen for us in this game. We finally have a decent, you know, hard to catch ball. And of course, we fumble it immediately. We desperately need a stop now. It, it does not feel like we are anywhere near getting a victory in this game. Rivers still just has those two incompletions. And on third and nine, they go to the ground with a little draw and we'll at least get the three and out. That helps a little bit, I guess. With the game effectively over, we're basically just looking to give LeBlanc uh, his rushing yards. Unless he comes up with some miracle plays. Um, that gets him to the 150. And we'll just, I don't know, go for the hurry up and see if something crazy happens. The defense getting stops, of course. But it just isn't until it's too late. And <laughs> classic, classic Madden play there. Can't get the pass off in time. 
Well, four minutes to go now, and Wilson somehow came down with that one and didn't fumble it. But we all basically know at this point that this game would take a miracle. Maybe Nelson can come down with this one. No, ball's batted over into the stands. We'll continue to try and bring some of stuff out. Wow, wide open guys, and Huntley just misses them. That hurts. 60% passing on the day. Just doesn't seem to be enough. And there's another inaccurate one. Maybe this flag bails us out. Wow. Uh, yep, bailout is exactly what that was. I'm not entirely sure how they called that one a pass interference. But uh, we stay alive so far. And it gets us inside the 25. Pressure coming again. Again, we're going to Renfro who comes down with it. But... Uh, not past that first down marker, which is what I'm always hoping for. And we'll see what we can get here. Under three minutes now. Almost inside the red zone. There might be a man. Nelson, nice catch inside the 10. Some of these really hurt just because we're, you know, moving the ball. But it's just way too late and it, we haven't done well. It certainly doesn't feel like we're about to be successful. And oh, we had Renfro... Wide open in the middle of the end zone, but the pressure came way too quick and we take a sack. So once again, it's third and goal, but we're at the 11 and it looks like we might have another uh, potential goal line stop. No, Aitman. Well, at least we have a passing touchdown and we're technically not out of the game yet, but uh, really we are. Now I don't fully remember how to do this. But I feel like that's decent on how to get a nice bounce, but they're going to field it, and that's basically game. We'll try to take our timeouts, but I don't feel too confident. I expect them to be running the ball here, and on first down, they do so. And maybe the biggest problem right now is that they're pretty much in field goal range already, so even if we got this stop there, I'm not sure how much it would have mattered. One minute to go. And, so oh, that's definitely game if they're going to score here. Did he run out of bounds? <laughs> okay, Gordon. And now he, he just ran through. He's in the crowd. He's under the stadium. Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> Where is Melvin Gordon going? What an absolute madman. The cameraman ran out of the way. <laughs> he's going to, I don't know what direction that is, but we might find him in San Diego again here pretty soon. They're going to go to the air and uh, just, yeah, I don't even want to talk about that. 58 seconds left. We are just going to heave a couple passes up and see if anything sticks. Because let's face it, this game is definitely over. Bruh. And Oh, that certainly is not going to make me feel any better about it. Throwing a pick six with less than a minute to go. We've been trounced this entire game. Bass cannot get healthy soon enough. We'll try to give it to LeBlanc here and see if he can get a few more yards. And oh wow, he actually squeezed through that. And picked up a, a solid chunk, actually. Only one deep safety. Um, YOLO. Monley took a shot there as well, but that ball was underthrown. Williams actually might have had to step on his man, which kind of sucks. It's Huntley and Jacobs in on the read here. And Jacobs, well, he's going to take a lot of hits and eventually go down. I'm not done just heaving up deep passes because there's Ty Williams with a, a nice four vert touchdown. We got to kind of make the score look respectable. And this one, I don't know, maybe helps us a little bit. Gives us some XP as well. I refuse to take that disrespect. And... Oh. Can't quite get that onside kick. Are they going to... Are you kidding me? Please. Don't let him return that. Oh, man. That would have been terrible. Uh, here comes the victory formation. Uh, we won't take a timeout. We'll let the clock run out here. 45 to 24 is going to be the final score of this game. Not at all how I envisioned it. I'm definitely not pleased with the result. I am uh, happy that we... We'll get a dev trade upgrade with LeBlanc. That probably just means he's a star. Uh, but we moved to 3-2 and two on the season. Our defense couldn't stop the pass to save their lives. 
And that's really the story of the game. If we could have gotten pressure on Rivers, or maybe got some, you know, even deflections, it could have been a whole nother story. But 201 through the air for us, and they only had like 192, but it didn't matter in the end. Hunley ends the game at 20 of 30 uh, with 219 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. So not the worst, but certainly not the best that we've seen him on the ground. LeBlanc carries it 20 times for 185 yards and a touchdown. Jacobs manages to get two yards out of his three carries, and Hunley scrambled once for nine yards. Through the air, Renfro had five catches for 40 yards. Nelson had five for 64 Ty Williams had three for 72 in that nice long, like 55 yard touchdown. And then uh, how about Marcel Aitman with that other touchdown grab in the end zone. Defensively, we had almost nothing. Um, a couple tackles for loss, three for Danny Trevathan. But just in general, uh, we did not do good. After the game, as disappointing as it may have been, LeBlanc, Renfro, and our punter Johnny Townsend all get upgrades, so that's nice and useful. And we can get John LeBlanc up to that 80 overall, so if he is a superstar, he'll have his first ability. Renfro moves up to a 74 overall. And good for us, Johnny Townsend goes up to 67 overall as he gets plus two awareness. What a great upgrade. And here we go to see if John LeBlanc upgrades he's a superstar dev trait still pretty damn early uh in this this rookie year so i'm very excited about that i'm curious to know what his first ability is and that extra xp he might be able to level up one more time john stays 80 overall as we upgrade him one more time so two upgrades in a week is very good and his first ability here is curl specialist interesting we can definitely utilize this but it's certainly not an ability that I'm excited about. We'll just hope to see him continue to skyrocket on his overall for the rest of this year. Heck, maybe we can even get him to uh, X-Factor. Regardless, for us though, that's going to do it on this week. We're 3-2 and two, and next week we're playing the 3-2 and two Carolina Panthers. So that's probably going to be a pretty difficult one. I assume they still have Keekly on their roster. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, if you want to subscribe, please feel free to do that so you know when either uh, Condors or Dwarves episodes or maybe something else pops up on YouTube. And maybe think about heading over to twitch.tv slash poonmaster69 and following us there to watch us play these games live. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Poonmaster. You guys are the Thunderbirds. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning and we'll see you later. Adios.